What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to 7 Days Die Alpha 21. We are going to be doing another Tier 5 Infested. It's going to be at the gun range, the Shotgun Messiah gun range. Now, this place is kind of dangerous, even at the best of times. An Infested quest should be, uh, should be pretty fun. Should be pretty fun. We'll have to see how it goes. Now, after last Horde Night, I just read the um, comments from uh, my last Horde Night video. Some people were mentioning something that I kind of agree with, and i it's kind of a strange issue to have, okay? And, like, when I watch other people play, like other 70s to die YouTubers, you know, when they have Horde Night, I want them to, like, maybe, if not fail, then at least struggle, like, you know, with it. And that's exactly what's not happening at my Horde base. I'm doing exactly what I said I didn't want to do. I'm trying to build the most efficient horde base I can in the, you know, maybe not the most efficient horde base ever. I'm trying to keep the cheese down to a minimum. I mean, I like cheese, but it's not good for you. So, uh, you know, I try not to have too much of the cheese. Um, but, you know, I'm starting to really go crazy with this horde base and like all these blade traps. I'm thinking about like, like dart traps and stuff. And some people are like, you know, Cage, that last horde night, even though it was effective, you know, it's a little on the, a little on the boring side, you know. Um, I don't know. Do, does anybody like the incredibly efficient horde base where I don't even really struggle? Does anybody like that? Let me know in the comments because uh, it seems like nobody does and I kind of get that. So I am going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the blade traps and I'm going to replace them with dart traps. And I'm going to try dart trap. I already tried blade traps. Hella successful. At least for now. Wait until, you know, the demolishers come in. But the uh, blade trap setup is hella successful. And maybe take those away and see how good I can do with, um, you know, uh, with some dart traps. All right. Now, the uh, unless they change it, the demolishers don't come in until game stage 150. So, yeah, we got a while. We got a while for the demolishers. So um, once the demolishers come in, I, I hate to say it, guys, but I have perfect ways to deal with demolishers where they will never get blown up. And it doesn't even have to do with blade traps. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how, I'm gonna, how I do it, but trust me, I've, I've had demolishers before. This isn't my first go around with demolishers, and um, I know how to handle them. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we'll see. Unless things have changed. Maybe they have. I don't know. Alright, let's come on in here. I'm not going in there because I'm going to get trapped in there. Yep, yep, yep. Someone else said that they were. it was, it was weird. Oh, crap. Got trapped in there anyway. Um, some, some other people said it was weird. Uh, because they're 20, they're getting stage 20 or whatever, they're day 21 horde. They had irradiated and stuff. And what I need to ask you is, was that multiplayer? Was it single player? And if it was single player, what was your game stage? Because, like, my game stage is pretty high. Um, and I, I don't think, I don't remember, I don't think I got any irradiated on my horde night. I don't know, that was yesterday. How do you expect me to remember that? Alright, it makes me nervous that there's other... Zombo is out here. There you go. I'm thinking about leaving my drone at the entrance. You know what? No, there's no point in having the drone if you don't have it with you. No point. I mean, I got my I got my vehicle at the entrance. I mean, if the drone's at the entrance, what? Why do I even have it? All right, you hear that? Something got broken out. Yep. Oh, what the hell happened there? It's like I bounced off this thing. It just missed. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I think we're good to loot now. There was supposed to be a safe in this room. Maybe it's the next room. Nope, I guess not. I guess I'm just imagining things. Where is everybody? I want to kill everyone. Is that something that fell from the roof? It sounded like it, but let's see him. Okay. I think every I think everything's dead. I'm walking over floor pieces or whatever, like roof pieces that fell. And then they make that by the way, arrows and bolts are not ammo. Sorry, sorry, uh miser. They're not ammo. I guess technically they are, but as far as I'm concerned, if it doesn't take gunpowder, it's not ammo. It's my own personal <clears throat> way of looking at things. That and all right, not bad. It's funny, all these magazines have worth because as I'm getting like machine gun magazines, I can make the machine guns, you know? I mean, I'm not specced into them, they're not great, but it does give me something to do with my uh, with my 7.62. Probably not something I would use in a life or death situation here, but really good for Horde Night. 
So I, I'm, you know, I really like this update and what they've done with it. Except for multiplayer, like they're, they're, I'm just gonna say I think it's impossible to balance multiplayer and single player in the same game. It just can't be done. Um, I know the fun pimps are trying real hard, and I do appreciate that, but I don't think it can be done. So, kind of a bummer there, but what are you going to do? Right now, food and drink, I feel, is pretty good in single player. Uh, food and multiplayer is okay. Water is an absolute, just nightmare in multiplayer. Because you need it. It's not about drink either, really. I mean, it's more about, it's more about the fact that you need it for glue. We're playing multiplayer. Guys, we have, I think we had 22 do collectors, and it wasn't enough. We, we, I, I was like asking, hey, can I make this? Where's the duct tape? We have none. Well, I've been collecting bones. Why don't we have duct tape? Well, there's no water. Oh, okay, great. So, you know, it was just, um, it's not a good, uh, not a good situation. We got, now we have 32, 32 do collectors. I don't think that's what the fun pimps had in mind. I don't think they had in mind, 40, you know, 32 do collectors. Now, my, my, Situation. My my fix on this would be take take three do collectors. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just explain this to you. Take three do collectors. Okay, combine the amount of resources it would take to make three do collectors, and make a new recipe with that exact number. That'll make a medium do collector, and make the medium do collector hold nine things of water. There you go. It's the same. It costs the same. Um, you know, make it take the same amount of days. I got no problem. Make it exactly the same. In every way, except put three into one. So we're not just having like 32 do collectors. It's insane. Um, also, take a five thing do collector. Maybe not even make the medium. Make Just make a large do collector. Make it take five times the amount of resource. Hold five times the amount of water. Um, oh, you'd have to make it collecting water quicker. Because five do collectors will gather 15 water in one day. So a large do collector would have to gather 15 water in one day. Otherwise, that would be that wouldn't really help. So... Um, I don't know. That's just one thing I was thinking about. I don't have a good, I don't have a really good solution for it. I think trying to balance single player and multiplayer at the same time is just kind of impossible. But, you know, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking about. Uh, the do collectors are, uh, you know, in single player, they're okay. In multiplayer, you know, it's kind of insane. I uh, will take water. Speaking of, I'll take the learning an elixir. If I can remember to use them on Horde Night, that would be great. <laughs> I can remember. Surprised nothing fell out of the ceiling in this room. Um, let's go ahead and eat something. We can use the hit points. You, you might wonder why I don't eat all the time when I'm hungry. It's because a lot of times I'm saving it to get hit points back. Oh, okay. The shooting range. Now, you know what? Let's just get them all right here. Line them up. Knock them down. Oh, still a lot of them out here. Unfortunately for them, none of them are ferals. Whoop. Whoop. There you go. You're done. 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 Double done. Double tap. Oh, there you go. Triple done. All right, so I do have a problem with one of my armor pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and repair that. And the other pieces look okay. Beautiful. I love heavy armor. Yes, I know it makes you slow. I got it. But the thing is, a lot of times you get that book that makes it so it doesn't affect you during combat. If being slow in heavy armor really bothers you that much, then just go into heavy armor. It'll kind of help negate that a little bit. Um, I, I don't really mind. I've gotten used to it. Honestly, when I'm not wearing heavy armor now, I feel like my game's broken. I've got some kind of speed hack going or something because I'm so freaking fast. All right, pistols quality too. All right, I don't like this here. Let's give me some guys in here. There you go. 
Is that everybody? Oh, that is not everybody. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. I don't need to be carrying around sand. I don't know why I just, when I said sand, I, I just got in my mind, sand a floor, sand a floor. I don't know why. I mean, I've seen the, I've seen the credit kid like a million times, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Get myself sorted out here. And I do have two points to spend. I think I'm just going to wait and spend them at night. I like to really look through and not waste daytime and like really look through them and just, you know, spend them at night. Cause I got all night. All right, how many of you guys are running? Eh, let's give it a shot. All right, go. Oh. Done, and you're done. All right, that worked out pretty well. I did get hit, I think like twice, but that's okay. That's what, that's what heavy armor's for. All right. What are you doing? This guy's trying to juke me out. I don't think so. Oh, the other guy fall? Did you fall? Ugh, this freaking guy. I might have to go back and get him. But what a numb nuts. I'm right here, buddy. I'm right here. Don't worry. I'll ease your suffering. There we go. Be beautiful. Um, there's something I wanted to say, and I can't freaking remember. Oh, well, I guess it wasn't that important. I'm um, just coming over. I don't, this isn't the way to go. I'm just kind of looking around. Alrighty. So now we have to drop in here. You don't drop in all the way. Okay. See, I got no stamina now. All right, let's reload. Here we go. It's a lot of guys down there. A lot of guys down there. <laughs> Let's give it a chance to relax a little bit. Wish I had some grenades. Okay. Oh, he's outside. I already opened the door for you, bro. Oh, no, he's not outside. He's in the other room. There we go. All done. Let's come in here. Reload just in case. Sometimes I've completed some of these infested quests and there's still zombies left. Like right here. And there. Oh, really? Get the hell out of here. At least he dropped the bag. That's very uh, considerate of him. What do you got? All right. And... Oh, well, I might as well take it, I guess. Actually, I do need um, potassium nitrate. I could make more gunpowder, but I don't have the potassium nitrate. All right, let's get some loot. This place got torn up pretty good. I don't know. I don't know why they have like these little safety things when you drop down into a death hole. I mean, I thought this was supposed to be like, like something that's gonna be tough, but then they put those things up there you can stand on. Auto shoddy's quality too. You put they put those things up there you can stand on. And it's just like okay, now this room that would have been a death trap is just kind of, you know, not really a death trap. I appreciate it, but you know, I didn't think that was the point. Right, we got that. Let's come over here. We'll loot that last. And over here, let's grab this. And this. 
Now that I got my inventory cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to take these jailbreakers. And I've got two safes and an end loot thing to break into. So that should be pretty fruitful. Yeah, there's a safe here. There's a safe at the beginning. And then there's there's the end loot. And I will go back from, from back to front, you know, breaking this up. Breaking, breaking into this stuff. Looting. Looting like a madman. All right, there we go. That one's done. And a loot. All right, not too bad. Um, not seeing anything else that I care about. Oh, so we're going to have to go back. Okay, before we go back that way, I thought I'd be able to just walk back. I forgot I jumped into the through the roof. We're going to go ahead and loot this. And this. And this. That's not ammo. Break it, break it, repair it, repair it. Okay, looking good. Um, oh, yeah, let's break into the end loot first. Before we go all the way back. Just make it easier. And... Eh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's loot this. Might as well take the polymer. I know I'm not taking all the polymer. I just take it here and there. It depends on what I feel like at the moment. Like, yeah, I just go with the, I just go with the flow. Uh, you know what? This door. Oh, that, that button unlocked this door too. Nice. Nice. So let's go find that safe. Oh man, this safe was open. Darn it. I didn't even notice. That's all right. I mean, I would have, I would have popped the candy anyway. So it, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, a bit of a bummer there. And uh, we're going to go turn this in. See if we get a purple item. I don't think they should be giving... Okay, so another... A, a little bit of a problem. And I don't usually ask for nerfs in this game. But one of the things is... You get these, like, bundles that give you, like, your ultimate item. Like, when I got my auto shoddy. And then that just makes crafting kind of pointless. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, oh, why am I going this way? Just stay on the road, bro. Like, you can't cut through stuff very easily in this game. At least not in the city. Anyway, um, yeah, getting those purple endgame items... I don't know. I mean, we can't make them. That's true. But maybe we get them too early. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that, like, on multiple occasions, I've gotten, like, purple endgame items um, in this game. And I think I got it on my multiplayer server. Maybe I, maybe I didn't. I think I think we did. I got something. I don't remember. I think I got, like, a blue M60 or something on, like, day seven. <laughs> so it's, it's also much more OP on multiplayer because you could just, like, go out with your friends. Each of you take a quest, you bang out, like, freaking... 10 quests a day like easy easy so um yeah they need they need to look into that for sure but I, I just hate asking for nerfs but it just make it just made all the crafting like completely completely pointless for me all right i'll, I'll deal with that um off camera because uh we're gonna turn this quest in i'm gonna spend the night just hanging out doing whatever i want to do and then we're gonna come back and probably do another tier five so let's come out here and see what this guy's got for me up wrecked all right i am smart um i don't really need any of this honestly i might just take the rocket launcher to sell it i don't I, I don't need the impact driver i don't need the pocket mod yeah i'm gonna take the rocket launcher and sell it oh here we go so i'm now one uh wait what tier six complete is there a tier seven or do you just get this like the end? This is the end of like, all right, whatever. Um, let's see. Auto turret bundle. Don't need that steel. Oof. I see. I don't like working with steel because if you put it down and it's a mistake, you're totally screwed. The gyrocopter's trash. I don't need the money. I'm going to military armor. Is military armor better than iron armor? All right. I need to make an informed decision here. Um, I do have full iron armor except for the boots. So. Is military armor? Let's let's just. I mean, I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into this menu and see. Military armor. Let's take a quality five military vest. Iron armor, and let's look for a quality five iron chest. Nope. There we go. All right. So which is better? The iron iron's better. Although, it's better. One point seven is a. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like a lot. It's kind of a lot. Ugh, damn it. I mean, I knew you'd say, well, the stamina, mobility, and noise. Yeah, I mean, that's not nothing, but I go for max armor, so the, the military... See, I think it should go iron, military, steel. I don't think military should be better than iron. Although, technically, you could say that it is better than iron because you really care about the, the movement penalty and the, and the stamina penalty. But for me personally, 
I just don't, I don't think that way. I mean, I guess I could just take the auto turret bundle again. I don't know. Take the money. 12.5 12, 12, isn't even that much. And steel, I mean, like I said, I wouldn't mind building with steel. But then, like, if you put something down wrong, I'd, I, you know what? I'd rather just not, honestly. Um, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the dukes. So it's weird. Like I was already on tier tier six. So I'm not sure what I guess. Okay. So I guess what happened was I cleared tier five to get to tier six. That's why I got the reward. Now I've cleared tier six, but there is no tier seven. So I got the last reward I think I'll ever get in this world. And, um, I'm not, I'm not going freaking four kilometers away to do a quest. That's insane. Uh, let's see what this is. Downtown marketplace. Um, Fort what is Camo. Uh, let's try Fort Camo. That sounds pretty interesting. I didn't notice how far we were along in this video, so I'm not going to have time to do another uh, Tier 5, so we'll do that Tier 5 next episode. But I do want to show you where I spent my points. I did put two points into Motherload because I went out to the desert and I got a bunch of oil shale. I went out there and I started mining the oil shale, and I was like... Damn, man, this is there's like barely any oil shale in here. What's up? So then I put the points in miner into um not miner sixty nine but mother load, and then it became much much better. And I can make uh the gas in the more efficient stacks. Uh, this makes some um, five thousand gas, and it takes eight hundred um, oil shale. Where normally five thousand gas would take a thousand oil shale. I think I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, yeah, that's the case. I'm pr I, I'm pretty sure. So I had this stuff all, I, I got six times 5,000 coming out. So we got a lot of, we got a lot of gas coming out, which will be awesome. I'm trying to think of what else I did. I don't think I did much else, honestly. Just went and did that. And I think we are ready to go out and about. So um, let's go, let's go dig up this, um, where is it? Let's go dig up this treasure map. I think that'll be a good idea. And it'll be at night. So if anything catches me out out there, I'll, you know, it should be pretty, pretty entertaining. We'll have to see about that. And um, treasures are always worth it. Always worth it. And I do have my my auger with me. Now, the, as far as the chainsaw goes, I don't use the chainsaw when I'm in POIs. I'll just stick with the axe. Um, that's okay. I don't need that deer. I'm doing okay on food. Uh, yeah, so I usually just stick with the axe when I'm in POIs because... Oh! Damn it. This thing. Oh! Oh, hold on. Hold on. As I panic and drive through like 50 things... So my issue was, the reason I kept driving at the fences like an idiot is because I was panicking because I'm like, oh my god, I'm out of gas. And it's going to take a while. But like, that... Oh, hold on. That gas I set up was pretty good, but it's going to take a while for it to, you know, uh, for it to get cooked up. So I was like, I want to go get this uh, buried treasure, but I don't want to wait all night for that freaking gas. So um, I, I should have enough gas now to get out there. I just basically wrenched a few cars. I shouldn't be... Too much of a problem with the auger. I should find this thing pretty freaking quick. Pretty quick. Uh, are we pretty close? Yeah. We're pretty close. I'm going to find it pretty quick. It's going to be pretty awesome with pretty loot. I don't know, guys. I think the shovel, a steel shovel that can one-shot dirt is probably faster than the auger. Maybe it's just because I got a, like, a low-quality auger with not a ton of good mods in it. I don't know. But um, yeah. Uh, do I want to break into it with this? Nah. Lockpicks are cheap. This is easier. We're going to lockpick this bad boy. Ugh. My goodness, here we go. Here we go. I wanted to bring out shotgun shells. I have breaching shells, which are basically shells that go in my shotgun that I could use to shoot these kind of things. And I could have swore I had it on me, but I don't I don't see it. So I think I might have left it at home or something. There's like 50 different things you gotta remember to take with you. I just think can't remember it all, you know? It's pretty good. That is pretty good right there. Alright, awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to headquarters, drop all this off, and then next episode we are going to hit up the next uh, POI. Should be a lot of fun. Tier 5 Infesteds are kind of my favorite, not going to lie. And um, yeah, if you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And for you super fans that stuck around to the end of the video, I got a little bit of bonus content for you. Um, number one. I don't know if anyone noticed this, but I didn't have this thing going. Uh, I had this I had this chem station going enough to make like one set of fuel, but it needed 73 minutes and I just had enough for one set of fuel. So the good news is I did get 5,000 fuel. The bad news is uh, it kind of wasted a little bit of time here, but that'll be okay. Also, the breaching shells that I was talking about when I was digging up the buried supplies. Yeah, they're in this guy. I... 
like you guys can understand, I never have drones with me. Last time I had a drone was a long time ago. I'm gonna forget that he's carrying stuff I need, and I will try and keep it to a minimum. <laughs> Well, guys, that is going to be the real end of the video. I'm going to get set up to record in the next episode. We're going to be doing this Tier 5 infestation. I hope to see you there. And, um, yeah, see you next time.